By using more than one guide curve, you can create very complex shapes. You could also run into problems that will cause your sweep to fail. Most failures are a result of profiles that are too rigid. Let's take a look at an example. Here I have a part with four sketches, a vertical line to be used as a path, two separate sketches to be used as guide curves, and a circle to be used as the profile for a sweep. I'll click the sweep icon and select the profile and path. Next, I'll select the first guide curve, and the preview of the resulting geometry appears. Next, I'll select the second guide curve, and the preview disappears entirely. Whenever a preview disappears, you can be sure there's a problem. If I click OK, I get an error message, and the sweep fails. To be certain there isn't a problem with the second guide curve, let me deselect the first guide curve. As you can see by the preview, the second guide curve appears to be fine. So what is the problem with using both guide curves? Well, the problem is that the profile sketch, a simple circle, is too rigid to take advantage of both guide curves. Notice what the guide curves are doing here is controlling the radius of the circle. At a point about halfway up the path, one guide curve is forcing the radius of the circle to be very small, while at the same time, the other guide curve is trying to make the radius very large. This poses a conflict since the circle can only have one radius. In fact, if the guide curves were to deform the profile, you would end up with an ellipse, not a circle. To correct this problem, you simply have to make a change to the profile sketch. You have to give it the freedom to be able to follow both guide curves. And in this case, changing the profile from a circle to an ellipse will do the trick. As you add more guide curves, you will likely have to go to an even more unrestricted profile sketch, a spline. In this example, a third guide curve has been added. In order for the profile to follow all three curves, a spline was used. 